experimenting here. God, I have to cut my hair. Two, two care, eh? Winter, winter half, winter, uh, blah, blah, blah. A winter thingy up here. Everybody has two kids.
cut them in strips, the height of your, you know, thatching is going to be like this height, you know, between these, eh? So however many uh, rows of thatching you want to do up your roof, like, you know, you have to experiment, like on these shingles I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there's 13 rows of shingles, eh? So if I was doing that with this for thatching on a small, single, 15 mil scale roof, I'd probably go two, three or four rows anyway, say. Four rows would look good, might be harder to do. Three rows would look, you know, would be a little bit easier, eh? So, that'd make it about, I don't know, I guess about an inch, inch wide, eh? You want to go a little bit a little bit longer because you want you're overlapping, eh? So I'd probably cut one inch strips off this stuff. Like this. And then I would separate them. Because it's too too fat otherwise, eh? And this is why I buy the cheap ones. I mean like don't go out and buy three M brand the green ones. You get a few green ones. So if you buy a multi pack like this, these cheap Chinese ones uh, you know, there, there'll be a few green ones, a few yellow ones, orange, red, you know, it doesn't matter, you're going to be painting them anyway, say. But they can say, oh, and I see how easy that separates. Ooh. Try doing that with the 3M Scotch Bright, man. Yeah, anyways. So get the cheap ones, right? And then what you do is you take one e edge and just kind of, you know, uh, feather it out a little bit. Just so it's not a straight line, and you don't want a straight cut line. Right? You do that on all your pieces. But you should be able to find these everywhere. You should be able to find sisal rope too, this stuff. I mean, this is just rope, eh? Hey? Uh, binder twine, or, you know, it's sisal. But, anyways. Then start at the bottom and glue them on, eh? Like that. And glue the next one on. Like that. Of course that's blue, but you get the idea, right? And then and then paint it, eh? Uh, well, you want it kind of yellow highlighted with a, an okra type color. Make it look like straw. You know, paint it with a straw color. Or brush it, dry brush it with a straw. Uh, you know what I do, what I do is I, I I spray paint it with that brown primer, primer paint. Usually like a, you know metal spray paint, you know for priming rust or whatever like that. Shh, shh, do I have a can of that in here? Well, you know what a can of spray paint looks like. So, mm, too bad about tiger, tigers, eh? Because now you guys can't buy spray paint. That sucks. Oh well. So. That's how I do that.